morning so this is the third day of rain and clouds it's uh, 8 a.m. we are sitting inside the truck it just started raining again about a half an hour ago um, so Obviously, there's no sunshine. Let's go check the solar charger, see what it's showing. So you can see here that the panels are only producing 16.8 volts, 0.2 amps. I got a frown face here because <clears throat> I've got, you know, the inverter is running. I've got the TV on. I made coffee. We're at 11.6 volts. That's fine. The Victron is showing that I'm at 67%, which is fine. So we have, we have power. Uh, if the sun doesn't come out, and like right now, it's just overcast from one horizon to the other it's just gray the the weather comes from that direction that i'm showing right now um so i don't see a break in it anytime soon so i will uh get the generator out um once this rain stops a little bit i'll put the generator out i can run my small when generator uh, plugged into the shore power plug on the truck. If I run that for, see right now, what were we at, about 65%, I could have us up to, I could have us to 100% in about two hours of running that generator. I won't run it that long. Uh, I'll run it for, you know, maybe 45 minutes or an hour to get us up high enough. And then, you know, even with an overcast day, um, you know, we'll get some sun here and there. That's what it's been, been doing. Even on a full overcast day, I will still get some solar charging, um, just nowhere near the, the full amount. So we're just gonna hang out in the truck. Um, poor Lefty is just hanging out down here. He knows it's raining. He, he knows the drill. Uh, when it's raining, we hang out in the truck, just like we used to back at home when it rained and it was snowy out, we'd be in the house. Um, so I'll get, I'll get him uh, up here in a minute and we'll go outside and take him for a little rip. And then I get to bring a wet dog into the truck. <laughs> uh, if it, I mean, it's not cold out, it's decent temperature. It is nice to run the heater though. I don't have it running, but because the heater dries everything out in here. So later, if, if I feel like I need to, I can, I can start up the heater and it'll, it'll dry us all out and make it feel a lot better. So, so something that I'm going to touch on while we're sitting in here inside the truck is, um, a lot of days like this, I'll get out a book and do some reading. So I brought with me, I don't know if you can see but I brought with me a library of books and um, I've done some reading since I've been out on the road uh, days like this I definitely will do some reading so I'm 55 years old 
and I don't know about you, but my eyes are not what they used to be. So reading a book, great example, you know how the, the, the joke is, you gotta keep holding stuff farther and farther away to be able to see it. Well, that's me. In about the last two years, it started. And an example would be if I'm working on, when I really notice it is like when I'm working on the truck and I'm really up close to something like some wiring or something like that, it's blurry and because of the confines of the position that I'm in, like I can't move my head farther away. So I'm forced to work on something that's close to my face and I can't see it really well. So this past Saturday, I drove down to Mexico, uh, El Gadonis, Los El Gadonis, Mexico. And I went to an optometrist down there and I had my eyes tested and said, you know, definitely your, he said, my, my far vision is good. No problem with that. It's my close up vision. So he did all the, the tests and, and when he finally put the, the, cor the corrected lenses into the, the device there, boom, I could see like 2020 because uh, I read the the text on the little card there that was for 2020. And that was awesome to be able to see like that up close. So anyways, I ordered some glasses. Now I've never worn glasses or contacts or anything in my whole life. So this is a huge step for me. In fact, when I told my daughter about it, she's <laughs> kind of freaked out. She's like, oh, I gotta see it. I gotta see it, you know? Um, so I ordered some glasses and so I have to drive back down there and pick them up. They're ready for me. Uh, that was, what's today, Thursday? So that was last Saturday. The glasses were ready on Monday. Um, I just didn't want to drive down in this bad weather. It's been like this since Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's supposed to continue through tomorrow. So I was, I was planning on tomorrow if the weather's okay, or if not, then Saturday, I'm gonna drive down there and get my glasses. They cost me um, $189 all in for the glasses with the prescription lenses and i got the good lenses they're polycarbonate lenses um which are more uh resilient to damage um and i know what polycarbonate is i worked in the plastics injection mold industry for several years so i know what polycarbonate we used to make some polycarbonate lenses at uh, at the molder that i worked at so i know that it's a very hard uh, material plastic so uh, the 189 bucks for the exam for the lenses for the glasses all made so I paid them for them and I'm gonna drive down there on probably Saturday it looks like and pick them up so I'll take you guys along on the drive down there and you guys can see what it's like to visit Mexico it might not be what you think okay Thank you.